Hey dads, are you looking for a pretty heavy duty tripod? I've got one here from Sony that uh, someone let me use, so I figured that I'd talk to you guys about my experience with it, because uh, it's, uh, it's got a lot of features to it, I gotta say. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic reviews of the products that I like, use, have, and get to borrow from awesome people. So if you're into that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. Also, that thumbs up button is very much appreciated if you guys could smash that for me. And also, if you do decide to subscribe, make sure to hit the bell. That way you actually get notified of our videos. So right here we have, uh, this is a Sony tripod. I saw the model number on the back here. It's a VCT-1170RM. If you guys want to check this out, I'll link it up down in the description below. But like I said, this is a pretty heavy duty tripod. This is for pretty, from pretty serious video production. Um, I've reviewed a tripod in the past. I'll link it up right up there. It's the one that I use for a lot of my YouTube videos. But um, this one, I would not buy this tripod for myself because it's just too heavy and too bulky. Um, you know, it, like I said, if you're doing serious video production, you might want to consider something like this. But for what I do, which is mainly like YouTube videos and smaller shoots here and there, um, I would just use the tripod that I linked up right up there. It probably doesn't cost as much and uh, it doesn't have as many of the features that this thing has. First of all, this thing is like metal. This thing is solid steel if I had to guess. Uh, I don't think there's any plastic on here. I don't even think it's aluminum because it's got some weight to it, which is actually really nice if you're trying to get that very, very steady shot uh, and you know you don't want your camera to move. Um, it does come with a remote that you can uh, you can plug into your camera. Let's see, let me open this up, pull this through here. Kind of got noodled around into there. So it has a remote here on your arm that moves the head around and it's got a start stop. Uh, lock and standby. It has a photo button if you want to take a photo with the tripod uh, or you know with your camera that's attached and it also has your zoom right there and then I don't know what this button is right here maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments below it's a front rear switch. I don't know what the front and rear switch is all oh wait maybe it's this. I just noticed that on the bottom of the handle here I've never noticed this before the few times I've used this tripod on the bottom here they have a, a, a zoom right there as well. So there's one on top and one on the bottom. Cool to know. Did not realize that. So uh, let's see, let's open up this tripod and let me show you guys how large this thing gets. And I'll tell you one of the other things that I like about my tripod uh, that I've already reviewed. So we're gonna open up, slide right out, open up, slide right out. This is nice because it's double braced right here. It's kind of hard to see because I have on a dark jacket. Double braced there, double braced here. The bottom leg is single braced though. So I uh, just thought that I would point that out. So you get a little bit more durability here. Uh, definitely a heftier tripod here and you'll get more stability out of it with the double brace. All right, so we've opened it up, open it up like that. So I am about six foot tall and this comes up to my chin. So if I had to guess, I probably have another, what, foot of head here. So it's probably about five feet tall if I had to guess. Um, it opens up well nicely. I kind of wish this was a little bit more sturdier, the brace in between here. This doesn't seem that that sturdy. I can try to tell if it's plastic or metal, but um, it just, it seems kind of flimsy to me. I wish it had a little bit more guff to it. Um, one thing that I wanted to say about this tripod compared to the other one that I reviewed is that this uh, tripod doesn't have any sort of uh, monopod and you can't just uh, lift the just the head up. Uh, you have to, if you want to get any sort of height with it, you have to open up your, the sticks, the bottom sticks. And the reason why I say that is because you may not, you may be in a tighter spot and you may need to have just a slim head, uh, uh, for lack of a better word, head riser, one pole head up type of thing, as opposed to sticking out all these sticks everywhere. So that, that's one thing that I definitely liked about the other tripod a little bit better. Um, let's see, let me close this thing up so we can get back in. Ah. Close, close, close. I do like how these feet on the bottom here, they're, uh, they point inward, it seems. I thought they were on a swivel, but apparently they're not. And, um, so whenever you go to expand it out, it's actually sitting flat onto the ground. The one that I have is more of a ball, and then it has a spike that can come out if you're on carpet. These are actually flat, so that'll give you a little bit more stability as well. Uh, you can spin these to where you, if you're going for a carpet, 
it'll punk, it'll poke into the carpet and again keep you even more uh, stable whenever you're out there. Um, there's this, I just noticed this little strap right here on the bottom. I, I guess this is to tether it to something so that it doesn't get, I don't know, fly away or get messed up or I don't know what that is. It looks like it, I can't tell if that's supposed to clasp down into there. I don't know what this is. Huh. If you guys know what this little strap here is for, I'd be interested to know. Y'all let me know in the comments below. Uh, it does have looks a little uh, ball right here. Or a little nut, I guess you could say, right underneath the head. And that's so you can detach the head if you want to put a different kind of head on there. Um, let's take a look at the head. Let me see, I'm going to take it off the tripod and we'll take a look at just the head. So you guys can, uh, can see what we're dealing with there. Oh wait, this thing doesn't come off. I think this just loosens up. Does it loosen? Oh no, wait, it comes off. Okay. I was going to say it loosens up so where you can kind of maneuver it a little bit, but it doesn't. Uh, so this is the head right here. You got your screw here, which is what I just took off right there. Um, this is the plate that goes on it. Very simple to use. You put your camcorder on there. This little nougat pops up. You spin it to tighten it, and then you pop it onto here. The way you pop it onto here is you got this little... Uh, clasp uh, mechanism, I don't know what to call it, and you put that in like that, and then it kind of automatically starts to shut after you get it into there, and then to open it up, you just pop it out like that. That's how that works there. See how it kind of locks right there? And you have to give it some force to be able to get it back in, or whenever you put this thing in, it starts to go, and then you can put it all the way. Um, let's see, I already talked about the remote and everything on the handle, so we don't need to go over that. It does have a level, uh, I forget what these are called, it's uh, one where it's like a circle and there's a bubble in the middle there, it's kind of hard for you guys to see that. It's yellow, so you can see it really well, it's got a red ring in the middle, so that you can, uh, see if I can get this light in here a little bit. There you go, that's a little bit better. You see the red ring right there, so you can see exactly where your middle is. So uh, that's a nice little uh, little feature there. I really like it whenever a tripod comes with a level so you actually get a nice lockdown, uh, a steady shot. Um, does have a couple of locking mechanisms here. This is just for movement. Uh, it does have a nice fluid movement. I will say that about this uh, this tripod. If you're going, if you know, it's, it, it doesn't jar that much. That's what one thing that I noticed with the other tripod that I've reviewed is that uh, it kind of like, I don't know, it jars too much, and this one's definitely a little bit more fluid, which I would expect for a tripod like this. So, um, what kind of tripod do you guys have? Let me know that down in the description below if, you, uh, if you're if you looking into one or if you already have one, or which ones have you used before. I'd be curious to know. Uh, if you guys, again, want to check out this tripod, I'm going to link it up down in the description below. I actually borrowed it from the guys who let me use their camera, which I've reviewed this camera before. If you guys want to check that out, it's the Sony uh, Handycam ADR-AX2000. And I'll link that up down in the description below if you guys care to check out a pretty high-end uh, camera there. Uh, if you guys want more of the dad reviews, I'm going to put some more videos right there on the screen. I'd love it if you guys watched more of our videos. Also, make sure to click that subscribe button right there in the middle if you guys want to get more of our videos. And hit the bell, that way you actually get notified of our videos too. Uh, if you have a product that you want us to review here on Dad Reviews, let me know what it is down in the comments below. I'll see if I can get it for you guys. Thank you all for watching, and Dad out!